Hey Jay here, we've got a good tech tip for all you CRF 250X and 450X owners. For all years, those bikes have been the same the whole time. If you want to remove the odometer on these bikes, the cable, the entire setup, we're going to show you exactly how to do it right now. Real simple deal, a few parts involved to buy, not too expensive. You can also use some used parts. We're going to show you how to do it. Okay, so on the front wheel, you can see with the bike with the odometer, it has cutaways for the odometer to hook into here. So what you'll need to do is get a seal out of a regular 250R kit. We have a bearing connections kit here. You just push this in and a flat uh, tool, smack it flat and you're good to go. So now we've pressed in the seal like so. Real simple deal. You can almost put it in with your hands. Just a slight tap and it just sits flush there. You can put a little grease on the inner lip of the seal as you would with any seal. So now you're done with the front wheel part of this project. Okay, so this is the axle off the 250X, and here's one off a 250R. You'll need to switch to this setup. This distance is different, which is four, makes up the distance for your odometer where it hooks into the front wheel. So in this case, we have a used 250R axle. This it's in good shape. These things are a little bit spindy through Honda, but that's your only place to get them is through Honda or a used one. A used one will work just fine. We're going to clean this one up and use this axle. The other item you'll need to replace is the spacer on the odometer side, which would be the right side of the bike. And it's this spacer right here. There's bearing kits. Uh, Pivot Works has one that comes with this. Their watertight collar will come with this, or you can buy a stock Honda one. We've, we've unbolted the entire setup here, as you can see. This is the part that goes into the front wheel. This is up, up by our triple clamps. There's just two nuts that go through at the triple clamp just like that. You just undo those. That leaves a bracket where these nuts went through. We run little bolts through there or even zip ties will suffice to keep that bracket back on place. Okay, so that's all there is to it. Very simple deal. You need a new axle, a new spacer, a new seal in the front wheel, and then you simply remove the entire old odometer setup. Uh, for those that are getting into tight tight bushes, woods and stuff, and they just want, don't want that thing in the way or they've broken it, it's a great way just to get rid of it. You don't need to keep it on there if you don't you can keep track of your miles another way. So real simple project, not too expensive and uh, anybody can do it.